Okay, we're getting back on the sporty today. So we're gonna get all the oils checked out now and get ready to slide it off. See how it runs. So I have not heard it run yet. So battery's still charging up overnight. A little trickle charger on it, so it's not fully charged yet today, but we're good for that. If it doesn't work, we'll put a new battery in it. So right now I'm going to check the primary fluid and see how much oil is in it. So get the bike strip down first. Let's do that with the jack. It's the easiest way. We always do with the jack. There it is. People get scared when that happens. All right. Now it's level. Okay, so we just pull out the cover right there and we'll look inside. See if it looks like old oil or new oil. I'm pretty sure I didn't change the oil this. The motor, I'm not sure about. chain tension in here. See how it looks. It appears to have old oil in it down there. It appears to have a loose primary chain too. Those are all good things. And he's got to work on it. All right, I don't know if you can see down inside there how the oil looks down in there, but it's kind of black, especially when the light goes off. But anyway, it's kind of dark and dirty looking. So your, your uh, chain is right here. So you can see how it's got clearance in it, which looks about the right amount. It's about a half inch there. You see how much tension you pull on it? Just look. A wrench like that's so all I'm using. Use your finger too. It's like this. See? Just don't push real hard. No reason to go like that. I'm not trying to make it super tight. Just trying to check to see what's there. <clears throat> so that all feels good. So there should be a drain plug underneath the bike someplace. I'm guessing that big one right there is probably the drain plug. So I go ahead and pull a pan under that and drain it. Most of the time these things just hold a quart of oil, so we'll figure that out too. The other thing we had looking at, we had the clutch cable here, it was a little snug feeling. So you're supposed to have like an eighth inch of free play in here. That was lacking a little bit. And when you go forward with the wheel, you get even less. It gets tighter, see. So we're gonna loosen this up right here. And I'm gonna do about half a turn of free play. That should take care of it. Now I don't know if that's a brand new filter I put on there already. It's an old filter, I don't remember. It's been too long. <clears throat> Could play back my videos, I guess. That'd yeah, be too easy. Why do that? More than likely, if it still has all the oil in the motor when we start up, it's an old filter. What's <clears throat> up? You trying to get my videos now? I 
now I got put a new front tire okay. on there. I'm building the rear. So now we have our eighth of an inch of free play right here. That's the free play, you don't pull hard on it. So that's how you do that. And we'll ride the bike and see if we like where it lets out at. Where's if it lets way? out too close to the handlebar up here, you give it more free play. If you have to pull it all the way in to make it release, take out some free play. Ideally, I wanted to pop out about right here as we start going fast right there. We'll see where it comes in at. Can we need to get a drain pan over there someplace? That pipe pan, that little small pipe pan is fine. And we need like a 5 8 hole down there for a wrench. There's a small pan there? This yeah. one? No, but that'll work. Okay, underneath the bike, there you go. That's probably the size of it. See that plug down there? In the primary? <clears throat> yep. Right there. Over here somewhere. Right here. It'd be better if you came from this side, but it looks like it's going to be dirty. Oh, it's was tight. It, was it tight? It was tight. Good. There's a small canister right under there. A charcoal canister. What does that do? It keeps the air clean. Oh. All your gas fumes go in the charcoal canister so you can breathe it. Oh. That's what that tube was that was checked today, that was lying in the carburetor. Oh. All that important stuff that you don't care about. I don't know if I've ever had a bike yep, with it. It's still tight. Go to the open end, it works quicker. Bike it was clean running before? No. Small bike. <laughs> you have an iron head, you don't have any that's clean. <laughs> By the time you're done riding it, you're dirty too. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I mean, I'm very <laughs> that must be a long winded plug under there. It is. I used to know it was tight. <clears throat> And I put a new battery in here, or just the old battery. Okay, that's coming out. Uh, this looks like a genuine Harley battery. I think this is the old battery. The oil looks nice. It's nice and coffee colored. It's not even coffee colored, it's like bad coffee. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's not really. It's like it's brand new oil. Yeah, well. No, I got dirty. I'm gonna rag back. <laughs> Doing my rag. Yeah, well, I didn't change it. That looks pretty thick, though. Really? That looks like molasses coming out of there. What weight is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be a 75, 80 weight gear oil, which is about 20 to 30 weight gear, motor oil type viscosity. That looks a little thicker than that. Got a little trash on the plug there, which is normal. So I could take this over the airline and blow all that crap off the magnet. Get that nice and clean. Looks like it might work. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, not exactly a quick drain. Scooby got nervous there. Yeah. You the one got, got nervous. <laughs> he got nervous. The bike fell over. We're going to drain the transmission by leaning the bike over this way. Scooby's helping. What's wrong, Scooby? O ring looks still nice and soft. What are you over here bothering me for? Scooby's going to bother me. Scooby's going to bother me. Scooby don't, like, Scooby don't like light in his eye. There. Scooby's bothering me. What are you doing? What? What? You don't like ambulances now? Much. Oh, you're a hot dog. You're a hot dog. He's a hot dog. Well, it could drain it when I lean the bike over, so put the bike back over there. Okay. What are you doing? Is there a reason why you're working so hard? No. See, now the oil's coming back out. Alright, Scooby's in my way. Come on, Scooby. 
Come on. Oh. Is that the inspection hole cover? Yep. Is there a chain? Here, hold that camera, you're in charge now. The chain feels nice and chain feels all good. Okay, you want to go now? I get the butt in the face. It's good. All right. Where's the motor drain? Uh, somewhere under there. We don't have one. It doesn't? Nope. Why not? Because they don't need them. Well, you drain the motor oil. Oh, well, the oil tank. There's a drain on the oil tank? The one that's dry. <laughs> Where's the oil tank drain? The line? Open the line up? Yep. Wow. So you're just going to make a mess all over the place. Come over here. That, huh? The other way. There's a hose under here. There should be a hose under here somewhere. That's how the old bikes do it. It's on the other side. There's a 5 ace hose. I think so, but it's connected into a little metal thing. Yeah, there's a 5 ace drain hole someplace. It used to be there underneath the old tank, underneath here, but this is a newer bike, so. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't see a it's drain a plug. It's a, it's a half inch hose, what it is, not a flat piece. I just seen a. It's a half inch hose onto a dummy post on something. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's on that side. So they put on this side of the bike and the newer ones. It should be down low at the bottom of the frame someplace. This one, maybe? That is not a 5 8 hose. Or, I mean, that's not a half inch hose, it's a 3 8 hose. And it's not hanging on the bottom of the frame someplace. That's what they normally have them. So, so see this big hose right here? Goes out the other side over there someplace. See that big hose? Yeah. So go look underneath the oil tank over there. There should be a fitting over there. There. Going right downhill. This one? See a tube going down? Yeah. So what's underneath down there? There a big hose down there someplace? I think it's this one. I gotta see. I see that. Get out of your way. You can look under there. I think it's uh, that one. This yeah. one. Maybe. There it is, right there. It's coming out. Where's it going to? Going out the other side? Yeah, I'm wiggling the. I'm wiggling yeah. this guy. Move your hand. Can't see. Okay, see that hose clamp under there? This one. No, hose clamp. Keep going. Follow the tube. This one. That one. You take that off, that's your drain. And you just pull that off? Yep. So go get your uh, little screwdriver. Pop that off. Move the oil pan over like that to catch it. And I don't think there's any oil on the bike, but we'll find out. I'm pretty sure I never drained it because I don't remember that hose being over there, so that means I never drained it. It's, it's probably in the motor. Probably. Which will come out when we start the bike up. So I'd say leave that in there for now because we're going to have to run the bike to get some oil in the bike. So don't take that off? No. Go ahead and pull the spark plugs out so that we can spin the motor over a few times and get some oil flow going on it. We'll do that. Uh, we got to check the brake on the back to make sure it's good. Yeah, it takes different plugs. Oh. Should be like a 5 ace thread. Just don't break, don't break the spark plug off. That's not the correct spark plug socket. The correct socket's up in my toolbox, but I don't work. Ooh, that's supposed to rock. It's kind of like that seat. Yeah. What, the, the seat on a bike? Mm -hmm. It's not very comfortable to sit on. That's a genuine Harley seat. <laughs> yeah. First uh, thing that they throw away. That's the exp that explains it right there. I'm going to take this off of here a little bit. These plugs must be Put the original plugs in it. So what's up, Chris? Oh, uh, I owe you five bucks, I think, or something like that. You do? Yeah. That's a deadbeat. <laughs> That's what a deadbeat looks like. What a bum. Owes me five dollars. <laughs> right, it's an iron head. $5. That's why you owe me $5. Most people money rides an iron head? Yeah. Oh, it's a, my iron head survived that whole ride. Was there something wrong with it? Uh, something miles put on it? Well, I mean, nothing. Oh, like 700 miles or something? What was it? Yeah, it was like 800 miles. 800 mile In ride? One trip? Yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, to the Grand Canyon. But we took the longest possible route. 
Oh. I actually went through Death Valley like a bunch of idiots. Was that in the, since the last so, time I saw you? Yeah. Nice dark plug. Nice. And your, your bike is... 15 degrees and you're like dying. <laughs> and your bike is still okay? Yeah, I made it the whole way home. Iron heads don't care about heat. We were cruising at like... 85 the whole way. The bike was like nobody's gonna nobody's like gonna believe that you did 85 mile an hour for 800 miles on a Sportster. And wait until they find out it's a stupid rigid frame Sportster. <laughs> this plug is worse. So uh, my buddy's riding a road glide the whole way. He's so. talking so much shit. <laughs> His bike wasn't even breathing yet. Well, it's good your bike made it. You yeah. made it. Mm. I thought I put flu in the back brake. It it works. I tested it. Yeah, well, I thought I put brake flu in the rear brake too. It's just a different color than one normally. Only went through two quarts of oil. Nice. That's not bad. Two quarts of 400 miles to a quart. <laughs> you did say it was an iron head, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a good thing uh, we took out two extra 70 weight quarts with you, right? Yeah. yeah. Was was it just leaking out like every gasket surface? Uh, it leaks the the. It, le it, le it leaks out of one of the push rods and oh, yeah. uh, the oil line. I like, I got it to stop leaking out of the oil line, mm -hmm. and it was good until it got super hot. Now, after you put the oil back in the bike, did it run better? <laughs> yes, it runs better once you put the oil back in the bike. Yeah. Then the leak comes back, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, that's the disadvantage when you don't put no oil in to fix the leak. <laughs> So to turn this engine over, we put it in gear and turn the wheel, right? No, it's got an electric start on this thing and everything. This is one of newfangled bikes. I haven't even had a bike with this kind of clutch in like two years. <laughs> it's, it's almost like a Dynaglide, except it's better. I'm going to hear all the hate mail now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you torque these, only torque them enough to get the little squish right here on the gasket, and that's okay, it. Okay, because it's an aluminum body, right? Yeah, well it's, once you start compressing the rubber, it just makes it leak more, so okay. there's no reason to go any further. And they won't vibrate off. Okay, put the plug back into the bottom of the case. I assume it's done dripping by now? Uh, or is it still dripping? It's not dripping. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get that flopped around. So we get all this stuff handled here. So somewhere we got a bunch of heat shields we got to put back on. Does it need heat shields? Yes, it has to have heat shields. It burns a piss out of your legs when you don't have heat shields on these. Oh, because it has this cross pipe. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Are these stock pipes? Yeah, but the, uh, I think it's got Scream Eagle mufflers on it. Does that make it louder? Or? Yes, you can actually do, you should be able to hear it run a little bit. Does it make it run better? Yes, you can actually hear it run a little bit. That easy means well, it's less restrictive. This bike would be quieter than gives my other this, bike. Gives you the Screaming Eagle cool guy. So it's got the, uh, <laughs> it's got the Screaming Eagle backing plate on it. So it's got more air going in, more air coming out. And probably put some bigger jets in the car would be my guess. Where's the other spark plug at? <clears throat> I was kind of hoping this bike would be a little so, sewing machine sound. They look kind of a... Well, my looks like it might be really running rich. It pisses off all my neighbors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really loud. That's that's how you know it's good. That's right. Runs good. <laughs> okay, where's our front master cylinder at? It's we need to get some fluid bike. back in this thing. It's on top of there on the handlebar. Alright, well I tightened it, but I didn't gorilla tighten it. You didn't gorilla tighten it down? No, it's finger tight. It's a little more than that. <laughs> okay, did you tighten up the banjo bolt to the line? No. Because okay. I didn't know where this tool was. That's finger tight. Okay, we need to uh, work on the hair you're in charge of this again. All don't, right. don't miss anything important. What am I supposed to? All right. We don't care. Just whatever you feel is good. Just focus on you. We get comments about the video of Opker first around here. All right. That's what they call them, the camera, isn't it? Yeah. That no, that's only if you're high end. Oh, yeah. Right. We're high end around here. We're not just a bunch of dumbasses working here. I thought I was. <laughs> it's all fake. Oh. It's just for the so, show. So when the Sportster fluid, uh -huh. guess why? Because it's a Sportster. There you go. See, he's smart. That's why he's in charge. <laughs> Except we're not going to put that in here. We're going to put that in the, over there. Oh. <laughs> in case you're wondering. Yeah, I was like, I didn't think that went in there, but 
Do what you told me to do. What you put over there. In the inspection hole. Plug is tight now? You didn't strip it or anything? No, I didn't strip it, but... Okay, so it's dump, not, dump most of that in there. Everybody gets to watch this very delicate it procedure. Like that, it allows you to pour it better. So. Most of it in here? It should take all of it. Well, we can go just a little bit if you want, like three quarters. There should be like a level, level plug in the primary cover. Yeah, and there. just let it drain out until it doesn't anymore. Well, you pull a level plug out, and if, you still, if it doesn't come out, you put more until it does. Mm -hmm. We'll or just, just put it all in there. I just dump it all in what I usually do, but... Yeah, that seems... I like was to told that was not the correct level on these new bikes, but... Yeah, I don't think don't they just level themselves out and leak it out anyways? That's how most Harleys are, you know. Yeah, I'll just let it do that. I just dumped the whole thing in mine. It still mine. looks thicker than it's supposed to be. You got any... see any drips coming out of there yet? Did you take the leveling plug out? <clears throat> no, but I just wonder if I torqued the... Plug enough. No, there's nothing coming out that I can see. Okay, then I did. You didn't just put it all in there, did you? There's like a little tiny bit left, oh. but I was gonna put it all. Oh, jeez. I have like one tablespoon left. It's gonna be overfilled now. Here comes all that hate mail again. Whatever. <laughs> Do over it. I'm doing it wrong. Unless I'm getting death threats, it doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'd better get death threats. If you're not getting death threats on your YouTube channel, <laughs> do you even have a YouTube channel? Yeah. <laughs> have you gotten any death threats, Tatro? No, but I've been called a few things. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I like that, so they didn't know. <laughs> okay, well it's all. Where's the hole for level plug? I'm guessing it's a big Allen bolt sticking straight out there. This one? Yeah, does that look like a level plug? Or this one. That looks like a level plug, this one right here. Well, it won't be on the bottom, it'll come out. Yeah, okay, we'll try that. Didn't you read the manual? No. We've got the flashlight. over there? I need it. We gotta figure out which one it is first. One oh, there's two that looked. Oh, maybe it's this one right here. No, that's no. a case bolt. So, yeah, it's probably one of these. Oh, let me see. That sure looks like a foot peg bolt to me. Yeah, it should be over here. Okay, pull the cover off. It's going to be the cover. I didn't want to pull the cover off because that's that Torx head junk. I have a Torx thing. I brought one today. But I'm sure you have one too. How about this one? Is it the right size? Yeah, it's just you sure? Can I get an adjustable wrench? No. My hands are a little too slippery. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they over torqued it? Maybe. Maybe it just uh it's a T twenty five. T handle. Alright, I'm gonna find my fish. Alright, we'll be on hold for a minute. How do I close the handle? Close the lid. Alright.